Evening. We start tonight with breaking news. Reports of multiple car break-ins off St. Clark near the St. Rock Market. This on the same night at the crew of Chewbacca's Parade located nearby. That's where we find WDSU's Harrison Golden. He's speaking to some people who are victims of more break-ins that we've seen throughout the city. Harrison? Yellow Sherman, you just said it. It's worth note here. The crew of Chewbacca's was supposed to be rolling down here in St. Claude, moved its route a little bit further down, but still a lot of people out here at St. Rock Market tonight, a lot of them now cleaning up from what has happened. So at around between 8.30 and 9 o'clock, they say the car, cars have been broken into, punched glass, and we are looking at the results of the people just waiting for police to arrive at this point. We're told um, at least half a dozen vehicles in this parking lot alone, perhaps even some on the neutral ground over on St. Claude. People still sweeping up the broken glass right now from their vehicles, costing hundreds, they say. They've been talking with their insurance providers and a whole bunch of other people right now, and they're just trying to figure out a lot of this. We're talking right now uh, with two of the people who have still trying to pick up the pieces and trying to figure out what, what to do next year, of course, still waiting for police. Um, Cordell Foster and Brian Foster right now uh, joining us both. So what happened? We were sitting in St. Rock having a meal, you know, hanging out. And then we come out and I thought my friend was joking. He was like, all the cars have been broken into. And I was like, what? So I came out and sure enough, it was like several cars. You know, the, the passenger side window busted. Yeah, same thing. We uh, first thing I thought was he was joking, and then we get here and I see, oh, yeah, there's broken glass everywhere. Uh, first thing I do is check my car, see what's gone, um, and it was pretty clear they knew what they were looking for. Um, I had a prescription in there he didn't take. Luck, I'm very lucky. Yeah, so, again, some, in your case, I'm told they, they, they take it some money. That's they took about $40 out of my car, and... Money is replaceable, but it's the car window that's going to be a serious thing to have to replace. And of course, I called my insurance. They're not going to be able to cover that. And called the cops. They haven't shown up yet. And there's been like four that have passed. So again, still waiting and still waiting on further details from the NOP on all of this, of course. Uh, not seeing them on site, but again, we shall see what the uh, next few minutes, next few hours foretells. So I guess now next chapter is uh, waiting on the police, waiting on... A lot of other things, what next? Just, I'm not exactly sure. Just, it's, it's, it's sad uh, because, you know, this is the city that I grew up in. I've generally always felt safe in and now I feel a little bit violated. Um, you know, someone's rifled through my things. I'm lucky, lucky nothing, got, nothing got taken and no one got hurt, but it's, it's, it's scary for sure. Yeah, it's certainly difficult to think about. It's definitely dampened my spirits. I mean, I'm really not in the Mardi Gras spirit because if I'm here at St. Rock Market, it was supposed to be a relatively safe place, and I come out and this happens, I don't feel safe in the city. Something has to be done. I'm really tired of the crime. I mean, it's been like major lately. Something has to be done. Certainly, and what would your message be to leaders in charge here? Give people money so that they don't have to do stuff like this. Really some strong words there. All right, guys. Well, we're right outside the St. Rock Market. Again, still waiting on further details from the NOPD. But, of course, we will provide them as we learn them. Now we are live outside the St. Rock Market. Harrison Golden, WDSU News.